It's the smart guy here. And very soon we will all be asking this all important question. Where will quarterback Derek Carr be playing football in 2023? Now, I've said it on here before. I think the best place for Derek to be playing football in 2023 is Las Vegas. The offensive talent is there. They put enough points on the board this year to get to the playoffs, to win enough games. When you blow three 17-point leads, that's not really on the quarterback. you got to kind of put that on your heavily overrated head coach, Josh McDaniel, and the defense, but forget it. Raiders want to ship Derek Carr out and start over. I don't know who they're going to start over with, but hey, I don't own the team. So let's assume Derek Carr is going to get traded in the offseason. Where is he going to go? I think we can narrow it down to three teams. You have the Indianapolis Colts, you have the New Orleans Saints, and you have the Carolina Panthers. The crazy thing is I could name 15 other teams <laughs> where Derek Carr would be an upgrade. But let me tell you why I'm ruling out real quick some of these others. One, first things first, if Tom Brady retires or leaves Tampa, this all changes. And I think the Glazer family, very, very, very rich, goes out and they own the Bucks. They go out and get Derek Carr for whatever price is being asked because the talent is still there in Tampa Bay to keep winning. And I don't think they really miss a beat in that weak-ass division if they punt, if they, it, uh, punch in Derek Carr for Brady. But I don't think Brady's retiring. So that's why I don't even have uh, the Bucks on this list. Also, the Jets, uh, the Commanders, some of these other, uh, some uh, the Giants, no way. These are all cold weather teams. Derek Carr's been on the West Coast his entire career. I don't think it's smart at all to put Derek Carr in a cold weather city. It's a, it's a certain skill set to be able to win in cold weather in those all important games. The coldest games are the most important ones. That's the playoffs. That's week 16, 17, 18. I don't want Derek Carr on a cold weather squad. So I'm gonna keep him indoors or in nice weather. So that gives me Carolina, that gives me New Orleans, and that gives me the Colts. I think on paper, the owner that will make the best offer for him is in Indianapolis. Good old Jim Irsay. <laughs> I think he's just, I think he's just gonna say, hell with it, you only live once. And let's be honest, when I see Jim Irsay in a press conference, I'm not sure how much longer he's gonna be around. I think he's gonna say, here are all my chips. Give us Derek Carr, he's only 31, and let's win for the next five years. However, they are in the AFC. I don't think the Raiders are going to trade Derek Carr within the AFC. So I think they tell Ursay and the Colts to go kick rocks, which leaves New Orleans and Carolina. In the end, it comes down to ownership. Owner David Tepper in Carolina is a mega billionaire, one of the richest owners in the league, and he's new. He wants to win. He's tired of Baker Mayfield and P.J. Walker and Sam Darnold and whoever else they're going to have to pull off the practice squad to try and put a quarterback under center. He wants to win. He's going to give Las Vegas whatever they want. And Derek Carr will be the 2023 quarterback for the Carolina Panthers.